To solve any manometer problem, the key issue is to write, is to make use of two key facts. So I'm going to sketch a manometer problem, a classic manometer problem. This green fluid I'll call um, a fluid of density rho green. And then this might be air, but I'll give it a density. This will be rho um, A, and the same here, rho A. And this is the key height difference on the manometer that we care about. Now, the key way to analyze this problem is to recognize <coughs> that when I look at this fluid in this lower part, at this level, because this is all the same fluid and they're at the same level, the pressures at points 1 and 2 must be the same. This is as if I had a piece of tubing and I were just holding it slack, we would expect the two levels to be exactly the same. And that's because the pressure at these two points is exactly the same. So we can write P1 equals P2. The only other piece I need is to recognize how to analyze a column of fluid. So if I have a simple column of fluid, the rule is that if I have this fluid in a column of height, let's say, H1, all right, and this fluid has a density rho, then the rule is that the pressure at the bottom is equal to the pressure at the top plus rho times gravity times H. So the pressure at the bottom equals the pressure at the top plus rho g height of the column of fluid. That fact is the only additional fact we need to finish that manometer problem. So going back to the manometer sheet, we're going to write point 1 and point 2 using the height of fluid issue that I just talked about. P1 is the pressure at the top, so we'll call this um, PA and PB. And we're going to need a few more heights here, so I'll, I'll call this one um, H2 and I'll call this one H1. So P1, the pressure at the bottom, the pressure at the bottom of this column of fluid is the pressure at the top plus rho GH, where rho is the, the fluid that I have, rho A, plus times G times the height, which is H1 plus H2. That's the pressure at the bottom of this column of fluid, which is P1. P2 is the pressure at the bottom of this column of fluid, which is the pressure at the top, PB, plus the weight of this column of fluid, which is density A fluid times G times height 2, plus the weight of this column of fluid, which is density green fluid, G H1. So I, I missed a plus sign here. Pressure at the top plus rho GH, pressure at the top plus rho GH for each column of fluid, and they're equal at that point, uh, at these points one and two. So now I get PA minus PB, bringing this over, equals rho AGH2 plus rho GGH1 minus rho AG H1 plus H2. This technique works on any manometer with just those two principles that the pressures are equal here and the second principle that the pressure at the bottom of a column of fluid, no matter what its cross-section, the cross-sectional area does not matter, is the pressure at the top plus rho GH.